Hi everyone, this is Mehmoo Sheikh and from past few videos I am working on developing a college management system using PHP is one of the widely used framework coding writer. In this video I will discuss how to add college in our college management system. Okay, so for that we need to go to our editor, okay, let me just close this htaccess file and now let's first go to our dashboard view okay so here we had created three buttons admin slash add college and we need to create this function inside our admin controller okay and we have already created this function okay let me just first close this okay this one as well okay so here i have created an add college function okay now let's just save it and now when i click on this add college it should display me a message as inside college function okay now here instead of displaying this message i should display a view load view okay add college view okay so we need to create add college view inside our views folder okay right click and then click new file and then save it as add college.php okay and now we need to open our register okay so i will just copy this entire thing okay not register select open and now i will select the entire code of my login.php because the code HTML markup for at college will be somewhat similar to the markup of login.php so I will copy the entire code of login.php and then I will just put it here and here I will change it to add college okay and here it should be college name college name and here it should be college name okay and then this one is also type text and this will be branch copy paste it here and then branch okay and here okay save it okay and then add okay and here we need to change the url admin create college create college okay now we need to create a function inside our admin controller create college okay so whenever user click on this add button after entering the college name and branch then a request should get sent to the create college function inside the admin you know let's just create this okay so let me just come here public function create college okay so inside create college function okay, now let's refresh okay now it's displaying me form text okay on at college.php 36 line at college and then line 36 okay form it should be form input okay let's refresh okay it's displaying, it's displaying college name and branch okay so i need to change the label college name okay now okay now we have set the form now we need to create the table inside our database okay so for that let me just go to my database and now let's create tbl college okay 
and we want three fields okay first field will be college id second college name and then third name is branch the okay, branch will be of where care college name where care okay okay and then i will set the college id as auto incremented which makes that id as primary key i will click on ok and now i'll click on save okay now we have created a table tbl college so inside that table will be entering the details of our each and every college okay, so now let's go to our admin.php and now we need to set the validations for our for our add college form okay so now let's i will take the validation from my previous code okay so i will come to my sign in function and from there i will take the code okay and then i will put it here else okay and then it should be college college name college name and then this one is branch branch okay so this college name field and branch branch field ex should exactly match with the fields that you have created inside your tbl college okay so here you can see college name field name is same branch and college name fields are exactly same here okay college name and branch and these fields also should get same in the form as well okay so name goes to college name and here also it should be same and then branch okay you need to keep that point in your mind okay next i will just echo validation passed and then echo validation errors okay now let me just refresh the page and now i will submit the form without entering any information in the form so now let's see what it will display here it's okay inside create college okay so where i have written this okay inside add student i will have written this cut it out and okay. okay now now it will display me some errors because okay, so the college name field is required and branch field is required okay so now i need to display these error messages on the right side of the form so what i will do is i will remove this and i will call the form let's copy this sorry this and the function name okay okay here okay next we need to we okay, have just test it out okay, now refresh see now it's displaying those errors on the right side of the form in the red color okay so i am able to see these errors in red color on the right side of the form because inside the form here at college form i have used this form error helper and i have put this form error helper inside the column six column layout okay inside the first six column my this form is present and in the remaining six column i am displaying the errors okay so i hope you understand that okay now we have set the form validation now we need to get the data this this input post okay i will get the data and then i will call the model this load model which is queries okay and then i will create 
a function inside our queries model and I will call that function this queries and then make college okay so this make college is the function that I'll be creating inside my queries model very soon okay so I'll just copy this and let's come to our queries model and here I need to create that function okay to insert the record okay so for inserting the record I'll just copy this code let's paste it here and then I will change the table name okay so now I have created the function make college inside that I have written the uh, insert code for inserting the data inside the TBL college so now it will return a value of either 0 or 1 if the data gets inserted inside the table then it will return a value of 1 if the data didn't get inserted inside the table TBL college then it will return a value of 0 okay now suppose if the data successfully gets inserted inside the table TBL college and it will return a value of 1 to this function create college okay now if the if this make college function return the value of one now then i will give the users a message this session set flash data okay, and the message will be college created success Fully, okay and if the data didn't get stored inside the table then I will display a message as fail to create college okay now in both the cases I will redirect the user to the same page return redirect okay admin slash add college okay so in both the cases if the data gets stored inside the table at that time also I will send the user to the add college page by giving a message as college created successfully if the data didn't say it didn't say get saved inside the table due to any error that time also I will send the user to the same add college page by displaying some other message as fail to create college okay so now let's just save it and now let's come to our dashboard and click on add college and let's add abc and then branch bangalore and now when i click on add you can see it is it's returning me a message is college created successfully that means if I click on table the you can see the record gets inserted and that means we have successfully created our college but the message is displaying in red color we need to change that I need I'm getting this message in red color because inside the add college dot PHP file you can see I have written this piece of code okay so because i have copied this entire code from the login.php and while creating or designing the form for login.php i had created this section for displaying the message to the user okay so here i have used the session flash data and into that i have passed the message that i have created inside this function this message i am passing here okay based on this message it's taking the message and displaying that message to the user okay so but here it should be success okay so now let's reload the page and let's create one more college okay now you can see it's displaying me the message in green color okay let me create third college as well okay so now if i go to my table then i will see 
three colleges have been created okay so uh, in this video we have completed the functionality of adding a college okay so now let me just go back to the dashboard and in my next video i will discuss how to create co-admin for the college okay, so we will create a co-admin and we will assign that co-admin to any of the college so once i assign that co-admin to any of that college and when i add that co-admin then all the colleges list and the username of that college and the co-admin of that college and their email gender role all those information will start displaying on this table inside this table on the dashboard okay so that we will discuss in our next video okay, so i hope you like this video i hope you got some useful and valuable information out of this video if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and i will see you guys in my next video and thanks for watching